Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Gotets here, and holy crap, I was not expecting this at all. Wow. So, apparently, Evolve Stunting has released their fourth BMX Team Taj. I know, like, I had the same reaction. I was like, what? Well, this came out of nowhere, but then I was like, huh. I guess now I'm thinking about it, Evolve hasn't released a BMX Team Taj for a really, really long time, have they? So, today they have the BMX Stunt Team Taj 4 entitled... Wait, the title isn't on the title? Okay, we might find out later in the video, but that's not that big of a deal. But anyways, like, Evolve Stunting BMX Team Taj 4, maybe that's what it's called, who knows? But, let's watch this right now together. I'm really looking forward to this. The last Team Taj, BMX Team Taj in particular, was like maybe 10 or 11 months ago, I think. So, it's really been a while. So, I cannot wait to watch this. The video is about 4 minutes and 50 seconds long. So, yeah, here we go. New intro? What is this? Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. I love, like, sort of, like, the orange blueprint design you guys had there. So, of course, Penguin has done it again. Evolve Stunting in... What is it? BMX Team Tosh 4. Okay, that's what it's called. Go into the classic... Oh, so Inspire. It's called Inspire. There we go. Alright. I can't wait for this. So, Spaz is the first new recruit. Whoa, so grind, and then another one down there. A mini wall ride, and then clean old 360. There we go. Mo Matt. What's he gonna do? Backwards onto what the crane? Uh, oh, onto the billboard handlebar grind. And incredibly clean. I like the execution of that. Okay, so Kai's Kreth right here. I haven't heard from this guy for a while. So he goes to frame bounds into the handlebar grind, and then ass slide. Yeah, really nice, smooth transition right there. I liked the uh, execution there. So, Tao Tao. Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. This guy's from China. So, he got the wall right on that. And a little cog slide with the landing right there. Nice spot you found right there. So, Vipers, new recruit. Gets into a hipster slide right here. And what's he going to do now? And he gets into another cog slide. Pretty good distance between there. Like, well done. Okay, Eskozu. Oh, gets into an... Oh, I like that combination right there. You had, like, that sort of the ass slide into the reverse hipster slide. And you didn't hit anything, too. Just, like, one word described this whole video is clean, too. Mini precision on top of that. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before. Okay, so Momat. Oh, this spot. Huh, I don't think I've seen anyone try this. The distance must have been crazy. And he gets a clean thread with that, too, out of an ass slide. That's so hard to control out of an ass slide. Okay, Eskozu gets into that again, and then gets into another cog slide. There we go. Double cog slide of a clean landing. Okay, Kaiskreth. Oh, another spot here at the prison. So, and then he gets into another grind, except two handlebar grinds in a row. Those are pretty hard to do, get, especially getting those to the second handlebar grind. So, Plex and Keg Dog right here. Whoa! What? What's he doing here? Holy, I've, I've never seen any, anyone do anything close to that. Creativity is off the walls right there. I have no idea how are you even able to stay on doing a technique like that. How, how does that even work? And you got a wall ride on the whole damn thing, Plex. Very, very impressive. Very commendable. So Spaz goes into here, and then what? he's, he's going to go into an ass slide. I love the combination of flips he did with that, too. That made that technique a whole lot better. Okay, Momat, is he going to get into a thread? Uh, he gets launched up really high in the air. He gets a perfect thread through that. There we go. Eskozu is going to get into, like... Whoa, what's that? I, I thought that was Ward for a second. Holy crap, he's like Spider-Man right there. Just, like, making that switch right there. Tao Tao with a reverse hips or side. Two in a row. And three in a row. Scratch that. Very good combination technique. Oh, I love that paint transition they had right there. So, um, uh, a thread right there. And what's he... Double thread. You don't see too many really clean double... Triple thread! Oh! Yeah, they're definitely saving the best for last. That's one of the stunts I've already got him in the team. So, Spaz gets in it into that. Another reverse cog slide. And he gets a nice landing. There we go. Eskozu, what's he gonna do here? Oh. Very technical stunt, considering, like, that small of a rail... So Vipers and RZ are in collaboration of this one, and he goes through a thread. Finally, the idea has been realized. 
Okay, so Spaz is right here. Gets into uh, sort of like a frame bounce and then gets into like the side ride right there. And does a clean landing. There we go. Okay, so is this going to be a new technique, Plex? Oh, I know what this is. Now, hey. Oh, no. What? Dude. And even got the mini grind at the end, too. I'm going to need to go rewatch that. Oh, that'll be after the video. But that was impressive. Edits hit by Penguin. I love the edit. You did such a nice job. All right. So, stunts by Viper, Stout Tau, Spaz, Plex, Eskozu, Cartman, Momat, and Kaiskreth. The Evolved BMX team. It's recently gotten a bit smaller, but still very, very respectable numbers and, like, accomplishments of the people in there. So, good songs, too. Thanks to the following people. And... Yeah, that's the end of the video. Alright, so for initial thoughts, I have to say, this video was short, but sweet, okay? Definitely the best two parts out of the video were the stunts and the edit. They were masterfully done. This was such a good video. I just love the way it was put together and all the stunts and stuff. And I have thought about it. I'm going to choose Plex for the MVP. And this was a very close call for the runner-up between Momat and Vipers. But I'm just going to choose Vipers by default since he came from like Cryptic. And he's like newer in the team. Uh, he had like to do like all the stuff for the RC. I just feel like Vipers was the one who was like put like under more pressure if that makes any sense to hit these kind of stunts. So I'm going to choose Vipers for the runner up. So yeah, let's take a look at those two's clips. Alright, so the first stunt that I'm going to be talking about is the stunt that Vipers did on top of the parking garage at 1 minute 8 seconds. And I love the way he got that bump, like, over the circular part of the building. And he used that to get into a hipster slide. And I don't think I've really seen anyone get such a smooth, like, exit from a hipster slide off the side of a building. And he was able to take that perfectly into a cog slide. That must have just taken a lot of control just sort of keep, like, the balance on that second cog slide. And I love the landing that he got as well. So, yeah, I'm just gonna assume this is an RC clip. So... You did a really good job, especially on this clip, Vipers. Like, I was just so impressed by, like, what you did in this video overall. And this is, I don't think this is your best clip in the video. I think that other one you did was the better, but this was still a very, very good clip. All right, so for Plex's first clip in this video, which was a collab clip of Kegdog, this has to be one of the most creative VMX clips I have seen, like, ever in this game. I mean, it's so good. I just love the idea he had, and I'm not sure how he figured out this works, but what he did pretty much was he, like, got, like, Keg Dog with, like, the plane, like, behind him, and he somehow was able to stay on, like, with, like, the mini ass slide. Now, I I'm pretty sure he wasn't hitched to it. I'm pretty sure the way it worked physic-wise was he was able to keep, like, a consistent ass slide, like, on the side of the plane, and he used that to get into a wall ride, and he did the wall ride, like, on the side of the entire bridge. Over water, too! And I'm pretty sure this was in free roam. So, like, how can this stunt get any better? I mean, seriously, I just, like, this is, like, one of my all-time favorites in Plex. I'll always remember that he hit this. I mean, I just love this stunt so much. Easily, like, the best stunt in the video. Like, maybe tied with his second one. I'll have to go back and look at, like, that second one. But this one, just, like, the creativity, like, just, like, the thought process and the overall execution of it was beautiful. All right, so for Viper's second stunt in this video, it looked very, very difficult indeed. So what he did for a second stunt was he got a triple thread. I mean, at first I thought there was a double thread when I watched the video, but after like the stunt like played, it was like three threads. Holy crap. Like, did he actually just do that? So like he did it inside of a parking garage. He really didn't have that much speed. It was very hard for him to gather enough speed to be able to do this. So he, what he did was he just like found the spot. I feel like that's part of the most like impressive thing was that he found this spot and the way it worked. And I'm pretty sure like the second or third service that he like uh, frame bounced off of was uneven. So that just made the stunt like even more unlikely. And he was able to do the three frame bounces and the three threads, uh, the three threads without touching on any of them or screwing up in any way possible that you could think of. So, yeah, this is definitely part of the reason why I put you over MoMAT. Like, no matter how much I liked, like, MoMAT stunts in this video, 
this was just phenomenal. The, like, you definitely deserved it, that spot in Evolve. Like, for, like, if this is what you sent them. I mean, like, I'm beyond impressed. Okay, so Viper's uh, third stunt he in this video kind of reminded me of another video in the past. And for the stunt, what he did was he got a frame bounce and he had RZ edits, like, have, like, sort of a duster plane through him. And he went through the duster plane. And I have some pretty cool stories, like, doing some, like, duster plane stunts. I was, like, doing one of my friend Cross Eye once back when I was in Revolution stunting and they're very hard okay i mean it looks like a surface that'd be easy to go through but it's definitely not because first of all the thing that makes dusters hard to go through is they have like the little thing on the front like spinning and that leaves out like half of it is like a hit zone that will just shred up your bike if you try doing the stunt and another thing is there's like solid textures at the very end so that just makes like doing the stunt through the duster even harder and, like, on top of that, you have to time it perfectly or else you're just going to screw up regardless. So, a third very good stunt from, like, Vipers. I like the quantity of the stunts he had, too. Like, Vipers having three stunts in this video. I'm pretty sure that makes it him the person who had the most stunts in this video. Correct me if I'm wrong, but three very solid stunts. I consider myself very impressed. All right, so this last stun especially is what made me choose Plex as the MVP. Even, like, way past, like, Vipers and, like, Momat and anyone else in this video... What made Plex excel so much with the two stunts that he had in this video was just, like, how creative they were. I mean, like, I remember, like, remember when I talked about, like, the first one, like, it was just, like, the creativity that impressed me the most. It's the exact same thing with the second clip that he had in this video, where he, like, had, like, the Hydra right there, and he got, like, the bunny hop, and, like, he was pretty far away, okay? I know it looks like he was close, but this guy was pretty far away from the building that he's wall riding on, and he got a wall ride on it, and he was somehow able to get a landing on the crane behind him. And the crane was probably like an additional 20 feet up above where he was at the end of the wall ride. And not only that, he was able to get a grind on the top of the crane just landing it. So this was a stunt that would probably be hard hit with motorcycle. And Plex has somehow managed to hit it with a BMX bike. Yep. Bravo, Plex, bravo. You have amazed me. I just, I'm just so satisfied this video, just these kind of stuns. So, overall, I really want to give this video a 10, okay? I really do, but I'm going to give it a 9.8. And you know why? It's because of the music choices. I was just a little bit disappointed with it. Lately, Team Tajes, not just Evolve, but also like Astral and like Revolution and just like Cryptic even. Like every other team under the sun. Like I, I just don't like really the music choices that they've been choosing lately. And I feel like that's something that's equally as important as the edit and the song. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like branching like the music choice of the edit. Like Elias did an incredible job of the edit. Like that's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying like a music choice is something that can like keep people coming back to the video. Because maybe this is just like a psychological pattern that I've sort of observed in myself. I'm not sure if you guys can relate to this. But the Team Tajes I go back and watch the most are always the ones that have the best music. Like I'm talking about Ascend from like Vengeance Stunting, like Vanquish from Cryptic, just like a lot of those like 2015 videos, they just had good music choices. I'm, I'm just not gonna lie, like even if they're like, some, even some of the songs like outside the genres I usually listen to, and like they somehow chose songs that are good enough in like my opinion, I know music is subjective, but like subjectively those songs are very, very good, and I'm not saying like the music here is like hard to listen to, but just didn't really have like enough soul in my opinion, or enough like things to remember it by. Like I can't even like remember the beat after watching this video or the song that played in this video. So I feel like the song choices was maybe like a little bit below what it should have been. But since everything else in this video is competent, in my opinion, uh, not just competent, but like well over competent, um, I'm going to give this video a 9.8. Um, I'm not sure, like, is that the lowest score I've given Evolve? I know I give Evolve like a 10 after 10 after 10, but I just don't feel like I can do that if they have the same production value and then they just like don't really choose like the best music. Like, I don't know, just like, I, maybe I'm being nitpicky, maybe I'm being like a douchebag here, or like an ass hat or something, but I, I don't know, I just kind of hoped it would have better music, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's too much to ask, but, mm. hmm. anyways, okay, that's gonna be it for this video, so, 
Yeah, 9.8, and also Random Nice, also known as Noah, some of you guys know him, he suggested that I make a, sto uh, a scoreboard of like all the scores that I give Team Tosh's, and I thought that was a very good idea, but I'm not going to have time to do that until maybe like a week from now, so I'm going to have to wait till I have time to make that maybe on the weekend or something, because I'm very busy like here during the week, just like working on school, working on YouTube, it takes up all of my time, so I'll just do that like when I have time, like I'll post it on Twitter probably and besides that I have nothing else really to say for this video so if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time be sure to drop like on the video because it does help a lot and also be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more and until next time this is Gotatsu you have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe Gotatsu out Go!